Let's explore an example of how to formulate inquiries for ChatGPT, sourced from Jordi Linares' article, The Art of Prompting, Empowering Students to Utilize the Power of LLMs on LinkedIn. Linares, professor at UPV, provides tips in the article and follows up with the following. Let's ask about Descartes. He mentions, you're an expert on Descartes. Could you outline his most significant contributions? We approach ChatGPT with the same question, albeit I previously asked it. Perhaps there might be a different interpretation this time. Oh, wait, I simply want to repeat the same question he made. I thought I had the text copied, but I will copy it now. You are an expert on Descartes. Could you outline his most significant contributions? And let's see what he says. Look, it gives us the following, René Descartes, a mathematical philosopher as it is, and now he tells us where he got these contributions from. Some online movements argue for more transparency in AI, disclosing its sources for results. Here, the AI provides these details. Following that, it offers instructions for utilization of the sources. It covers geometry development and outlines contributions to modern philosophy. The preceding text was previously generated using the same prompt, and now, while the current output need not be identical, it demonstrates its impressive quality, albeit a bit lengthy. You can see now it is putting here the references of bibliography. We can tell it to refine it even more. Jordi tells us, my professor is asking me for the most relevant one. Which one would you point out as the most relevant? Let's ask it. I'm going to write the question here below. Uh, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to identify the most relevant one. Let's see what we obtain. Here it begins the answer. Here it gives me where it has obtained the data from. Wait a minute. It is saying something about the teacher. The AI language clarifies that it doesn't have access to my specific experiences and the questions my teacher asks me. It interpreted the teacher's work. It is not what we wanted. We have to iterate. Let's write the following. Could you give me Descartes' most significant contribution? It will state where it obtained the results from and proceed to provide them to us now. It was uh, the development of analytic geometry and so on. His most interesting contributions. It has already given us one, but it is going to give us some others. We can continue to refine it further. Okay? We can convey the following. I'm just 16 years old. Could you assist me in obtaining a description of his most significant contribution so that I fully understand it? Let's ask ChatGPT for help with that. We don't want more. Just... Let's see. Considering that some countries impose age restrictions, we won't disclose that we are 16. Instead, let's ask for a summary of the most significant contribution of Descartes so that it can be understood by 16-year-old boy. And now it gives us again the data where he got it from and now it's going to construct its answer. All right, if we're not satisfied with this answer, we'll have to keep refining and iterating. Oh, hold on, this isn't what I meant to do. 
Okay, can it be even clearer and more straightforward? Tell me just one sentence describing his thinking method and provide a clear example that I can use for my homework. All right, I won't delve further to keep the video concise. However, this serves as an example of iterative improvement on initial concept to increasingly align with our needs. While there might be deviations at times, we can always steer it back. Another approach is to break down ideas into smaller segments, introducing one concept at a time or providing examples for clarity. I believe that what we've just gone through illustrates how adjusting and fine-tuning the questions can significantly improve the quality of responses from ChatGPT.